Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another model review video. We don't have a lot of uh, time of late, working beyond full time hours and being away from the studio. Staying in the city, I'm experimenting with filming in new locations. So tonight we're at uh, Animasia after work and we're going to be reviewing the Mist Color GX Clear Gold and mostly why this weird paint exists and what it's good for. Mr. Hobby or Mr. Color is a synthetic lacquer line of paints from Japan and thinnable as well as cleanable with lacquer thinner for using general purpose lacquer thinner. Uh, the Mr. Hobby as well as any of the other brands will work. A popular thinner is Mr. Leveling Thinner. We'll be mixing it 50-50 in a double action gravity feed 0.3 mil airbrush. To test this paint, it is a clear, it goes other, over other surfaces. We've got several lacquer painted spoons to test to see if it's something like a clear smoke or more like a candy clear. Straight in the bottle, it is very glittery. I suspect it's something more akin to a pearlescent effect or a color shift thing than a clear. It does have a very strong pungent odor. It is advised to wear a respirator and do it in a well ventilated area. Please consider your health. Make sure to have a very, very good mix. As you know, personally, I like to add a ball bearing and just uh, shake it. That does have a good way of mixing up all the pigments, but this isn't my uh, personal studio and a shared workspace. If I pour it in, it's quite a solid colour and we shall mix it 50-50 by thinner. Now I would recommend mixing it externally from the airbrush but stirring it enough and then doing the uh, jet bubble including off camera, putting your finger over the end, pulling back and blowing will suffice, about 30 seconds to a minute test spray to make sure that the airbrush is not spluttering, dry tip or anything. Builds up very slowly in layers and it's sort of like a gold pearlescent with a clear yellow mixed together. It is very very interesting, not so metallic. We'll start off with the black which is ideal for metallics and Building up doesn't really have a color shift tendency. It's sort of uh, a very watered down metallic flake or pigment built up. So as you go heavier and stronger, it goes to a uh, very dark, almost uh, bronze gold. And it is very, very, very interestingly intense. So you could really go for uh, gradients, shading, weathering, effects, all that sort of stuff. I'd be very interesting to see what uh, non-metallics and the clear silver would do in certain applications for science fiction and battle damage. Do the white. And it stands out a lot better in the white. Just a few coats and you can see there's a big solid difference. And that does look pretty interesting. We've got a uh, semi um, almost candy gold look, something you'd see on an Iron Man suit. Next is uh, the red undercoat. Now this is when things will get really interesting experimenting with uh, different colors and we'll build it through and the red is just really bleeding in. It gives quite an interesting uh, double color effect, almost like a pearlescent. So on top of red, that is really fascinating. You could do that with uh, Gundam's armor, as in uh, figurative armor, medieval sort of stuff. I'm thinking like a, a samurai helmet or a chest piece. Very, very good the thicker you go, not so good when it's light on. Should have done this on first. This is just gray primer. And just like the white, it goes on, but it's uh, quite dull. 
It's actually nothing too spectacular. Blue pretty much would be uh, the opposite to yellow, but it could come out in a green tone. So that's on the blue. Again, like the red, you can see the blue coming through. You're going to have uh, panels and various colors, various shading. It's going to give a very, very fascinating uh, sheen if this does work in some sort of Super Robot Wars science fiction setting. Whatever your imagination or uh, artistic uh, ideals lead you. The last test, silver. I'm very excited about this. So just going on really lightly, it gives it that champagne look. And what you could do on the other side is uh, do a gradient, start gold, goes to a silver. And as we uh, build up, it just has that really, 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 really deep, super, super shiny, super, super, uh, I could see the reflection of uh, each light in the ceiling on the uh, clear on top of this gold. So if you're looking for a really intense, almost uh, Hakushiki gold for... Uh, the Gundam or a really really interesting gold a silver base and you build up this uh, yellow on top of it this is probably one of the coolest gold effects I've seen if you want to have a gold with a slight different uh, sheen to it all the others are very interesting this is truly a uh, candy effect that's extremely uh, fascinating and different very worthwhile uh, playing around and finding interesting uh, uses for it. That's just a bit out of left field for standard modeling. Everything was sprayed at 12 to 15 psi. The cleanup was very easy. Wipe out the bowl with thinner wet tissue and two flushes, nothing hard. And here are all of our spoons. Definitely a touch of pearl, definitely a touch of clear. I think in that regard it is true. But with all the different range of undercoats, we've just got all these really, really fascinating colours. Uh, by close, with the uh, human eye, the black is just super intense. Very interesting to look at. And the silver is really, really shiny. So if you're going for an all gold effect, whatever subject it is, a silver or a gold with this gold on top of it will give you a killer effect if you decide to do a uh, gradient or multiple shading so you, let's say a black metal or a gun metal shading into silver and then you spray this over it it's going to give a very superb subtle effect if you wish to go over the top using uh, the reds and the blacks and the silver it's just going to be absolutely amazing if you're heading into something that's really a vibrant gold like your BBSDs and all that the white worked out the blue and the grey didn't turn out that well but that's almost uh, expected in the end uh, the GX line of the clears I'm a huge fan of I love to shade with uh, clears do thruster weathering weathering in general I use it more and more in my modeling Here's an example of uh, one of my students applying it on a Gatling gun. And this was an example of uh, solid colors and clears shading for an interesting gradient effect. Clears are good for their absolutes in candy effects. You spray something silver and you put a heavy uh, red, yellow, whatever. But they're also very handy in shading and other things. Uh, don't just fall short in thinking that clears are only for candy effects and doing something like this. I could definitely see an all metallic uh, model such as the inner frame of a Gundam and just touching up little sections near the thruster bells and other areas as some sort of uh, heat damage or whatnot. Uh, with this or the clear silver you could do highlights and just uh, highlighting and getting a lighter intense look to a subject that's all gunmetal or a darker metallic. Regardless, very flexible uh, paint line. Definitely have a look at uh, the other uh, GX clears such as uh, the magenta and the browns and the blacks and all that sort of stuff and have a ball. Thank you very much for watching as always until next time stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys next time. As a shameless attempt to drag this video over the 10 minute mark please check out the link down below from Animasia who were kind enough to give me access to the store for filming and other personal uses.
I do uh, hang out there or at least open the shop on Tuesdays and Wednesdays between around 11 to 3. You'll see me working on projects, answering questions and generally interacting with the general public. A lot of my salt mine products will be uh, featured there sometime in the future. As well as have a look at the description section links. I post very regularly on Facebook with work in progresses. A lot of my uh, older work is also archived in Pinterest. Catch you guys next time.